Good morning. It's Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, God's Math, and our scripture is Ephesians chapter 4. Now these are the gifts Christ gave to the church, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, and the pastors and teachers. Their responsibility is to equip God's people to do his work and build up the church, the body of Christ. This will continue until we all come to such unity in our faith and knowledge of God's Son that we will be mature in the Lord, measuring up to the full and complete standard of Christ. Then we will no longer be immature like children. We won't be tossed and blown about by every wind of new teaching. We will not be influenced when people try to trick us with lies so clever they sound like the truth. Instead, we will speak the truth in love, growing in every way more and more like Christ, who is the head of his body, the church. He makes the whole body fit together perfectly. As each part does its own special work, it helps the other parts grow, so that the whole body is healthy and growing and full of love. The old saying is so simple and so true. Give a man a fish and you've fed him for today. Teach a man to fish and you've fed him for a lifetime. Something of a corollary to that maxim is related to the lifespan and health of churches. If a pastor grows a church, it will die when the pastor leaves. If a church learns to be healthy, it will grow and live. Pastors do have a responsibility to help churches learn how to be healthy, but it's something like your doctor who has the responsibility to contribute to your health. The doctor must be faithful, but the patient must cooperate. That is how God designed the church, his vineyard. We stay healthy and grow or die on the vine. Growing healthy in the ways of God is not complicated. Obedience and commitment are the primary ingredients. Now the facts of possibility for growth of an exponential kind, fast, healthy, and breathtaking are all around us. Consider E. coli bacteria. The numbers are staggering. If a single E. coli cell can get enough food, it can reproduce itself every 20 minutes. In a single day, that means 72 cycles of doubling. One cell becomes two in 20 minutes. Two cells then become four in another 20 minutes, and so on. Repeated 72 times in 24 hours, that's 2 to the 72nd power, the result is 2.3 trillion million cells. <laughs> if E. coli was building people, that would be enough material for 76 trillion people roughly a thousand times the total of Earth's current population, in just 24 hours, starting with just one lowly cell. Now, if God can do that with a deadly virus, just think what he could do with the life-giving virus of the gospel if God's people were sharing it, dividing it, letting the evidence of things not seen do in its work. For you today. Paul showed us God's kind of math, the kind that the church needs to change our culture. The apostles, prophets, pastors, and teachers all exercise their spiritual gifts, and then God's people grow, mature. They produce kingdom fruit, gentleness, meekness, love, joy, peace, long-suffering. It's the fruit of the Spirit. If the enemy can grow a miserable crop like E. coli, God's farmhands have the power to overcome whatever ails this old planet. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.